let that car move off, create separation, look left, right, or as I like to do, do the Stevie Wonder and keep on going. We have to remember driving is not the Tour de France or F1 or IndyCar. We're not trying to catch the Peloton, as they say in France. We want separation. Yes. Peek with that rear view if you have it. If you have, forgive me. Speed's coming up beautifully. You're very good with your speed control. Bravo. We're approaching traffic lights. Again, the color of the light, you're going to notice no matter you want to or not. More importantly, it's a walking symbol. You know it's fresh to go. Yes. This truck is coming up a little bit aggressively on your left, Mandy. So what potentially runs through your head is that he might cut over. Right? Yes. Watch how much distance he gives to the car in front of him. Okay. If he continues to get tighter, he may be coming over. But I will also tell you, London statistically is rated as a very poor driving city. Statistically rated one of the worst in the country. And I will vouch for that wholeheartedly. Being from Toronto originally myself in Scarborough, I personally would rather drive there than here. Never mind, now traffic has picked up because London has had a lot of growth in the last couple of years. Yes. yes. Lights are green, it's a walking symbol, look left, right, and we're gone. Straight ahead, rooftop of that car, look far. That's it. Bend it a little bit to the left. That's it, my brother. <clears throat> so we're in White Oaks, part of London, and literally in the road test area here in London as well, potentially. Wellington Road is, you will be on it if you were doing a road test here in London. Lights are green as we approach. It's a walking symbol. It's fresh. Look left, right quickly. That's it. And then look up ahead far to where you're going to be in 10, 12, 15 seconds. Watch this truck. Don't trust anybody. You hope for the best, but honestly expect the worst. Okay. That's it, my brother. We'll continue. Let's turn right up ahead, Mandy. Put your right signal on. Check your rear view. We're going to go off with this angle. Shoulder check. That's it. Bend it like Beckham. Very good. And we'll go 50. We'll proceed to the to the stop sign up ahead. We'll turn right when it's safe. Okay. And this is a one-way street because I see a yes, white line? Yes, that's okay. correct. It's a one-way street. White lines divide traffic going in the same direction, and all the signs are facing us. Very good observation, my son. Right signal is on. Then check that rear view mirror. Signal mirror. White line disappears. You stop. As you come up with right turns, always turn your wheel a little bit, but not much. Stop okay. dead. Give me a bump. Let them feel it. Yes. Assess your vision. Improve your position. So come forward, lifting off the brake. Don't use the gas to come up because it's too aggressive, right? Yes. If we come up non-aggressively, we're much more likely to make a defensive decision, right? Yes. We come forward with our foot on the gas, we're much more potentially like to, to make a, maybe an impulsive decision. And if you're comfortable, that's it. Sure. Tuner checked sure. again. That's excellent. First available lane always. And then you see it's green, it's parking. You look up ahead and you accelerate, my brother. Okay. That's it. And I see a speed limit sign. Speed 60 limit maximum. sign is 60. Again, if you don't see any signs in the city, you assume 50 until you see a sign that tells you otherwise. Yes. But also look at the environment in which you are occupying. If it's all housing and all residential, you're better off to assume that it's a 50 or if not slower because many municipalities have reduced speeds to 40s in parts of their metropolitan area as, as, as they refer to as traffic calming measures and school zones have definitely gone to 40s as well too. Yes. 60 it is and we'll proceed straight looking far to the lights up ahead. This is Exeter Road so you can see up ahead 70 begins at the sign there. Yes. So as you get in close proximity to that sign then you'll start to pick your pace up to 70. Pete can move that rear view again if you have it. Again, if you have, forgive me for, for because I'm not going to stare at you, I'll remind you. So now it's 70, you pick it up gradually. Red hand and a clock ticking, we've got enough time. Look left, right, Stevie Wonder, and you're gone. Okay, good. That's it, my brother. Check that rear view again, my brother, just so you're aware. We like you to be aware of who's around you at all times. Because if you're aware of who's around you all the time, the blind spots, they're still relevant, but not as critical because you've been attentive to the details. Rear view mirror, you should try to check it every five to eight seconds in that range. Um, and when you do it for road test purposes, you nod your head up a little bit, exaggerate, right? Yes. They can't see your eyes moving, they want to see your head move. Mm -hmm. Same thing when you look at an intersection and scan it left, right, move that head because they cannot see your eyes moving. Okay. That's why we'd say, you know, on the day of the test, if you wear a baseball cap, if your hair was long enough, you could put in a ponytail for the girls. 
mm -hmm. see it to exaggerate the head movement. And even some of the boys have got long hair again too now. <laughs> it's kind of coming back in style. <laughs> yes. 70, your pace is perfect. 70, okay. Your space is good. Um, why don't we turn right at the lights up ahead, Mandy? So we're not going to signal yet. We always try to minimize confusion. Okay. Signal two to three seconds in advance, minimize confusion. Now you put that right signal on, and then we check the rear view mirror to see who's coming up. We see the pedestrian approaching the corner we're going to be turning on, but we think we'll be pretty good because he's got there's a bit of a distance. Yes. The green light walking symbol is not going to go yellow. Look to your left as well. Make your turn. Look into your turn. That's it. It's okay. a single lane. Let that wheel slide out if you can, and then accelerate out of the turn. Okay. That's it, my brother. Good. Chin up. Look far. Raise your gaze, as I like to say. And we're going to go straight. We're now heading north on White Oaks Road, or White Oak Road. Okay. And there's a bicycle lane on the right? Yeah, bicycle lane there. And again, um, you'll see, not just in London, but throughout municipalities across the province, there's a general push to more bicycle lanes in all parts of cities to encourage that aspect. Look, let's be very real. London, Ontario is not a cycling city and it never will be. But it should be there for the people that do cycle because they, they're passionate about what they do and we have to respect the space that they need. Yes. Right, if there's a no bicycle lane, you must give a bicyclist one meter, three feet by law. Um, and never pass off cyclists tight, of course. Yes. Yeah, we're slowing down. Check your rear view as you slow to see if the person behind you is attentive. Tires and pavement is what you want to see. Here, because it's a van, you can go a little bit more pavement, potentially, but um, we always try to look through their windows as well, too, right? Here, we can kind of see, but not very much. It's not going to yes. be that beneficial. Mm -hmm. Glance to the right side, because there's really only road that's in existence. There's nothing to the left. And we'll continue to proceed straight ahead. <laughs>